Good morning, YouTube. Chris here. Welcome back to the Fixed Roof Coop channel. If you're new, please hit that subscribe and notification button. If you're a returning viewer here, thank you. I appreciate you very much. Today, we're going to do a couple things, talk about a couple of things, as I always do. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a babbler. Uh, we're going to get the 51 out. We're going to get the C5 fired up. We are moving the C5 over to a friend's shop today to store it for the winter to give myself a little bit more room in here, as if you remember last year. I had the C5 in this general area, which getting in my attic is kind of a pain in the butt. But also, it allow me to it will allow me to build the Model T in my garage this winter. So in this video, we're going to talk about a couple things, uh, tips and tricks that I do to get my car ready for storage over the winter. Um, I'm not saying this is how you have to store your car for the winter. I'm just saying this is how I do it. There's the right way, there's the wrong way, and there's the way I do it, which is probably a little bit of both. So let's get started. First things first, I leave my car stored with the tires on it. Some people jack their cars up, take the tension off of the suspension. That is one thing that you can do. I actually overinflate my tires. I run them at 35 pounds normally in the street. I bring them up to about 45, sometimes 50, depending on what brand tire they are for max PSI. I overinflate them so they don't get flat spots. Now, flat spots, a lot of the old timers would say, oh, that only happens when you have bias ply tires and old tires. Well, yes and no. I mean, the last C5 tires that I had on, on the C5, uh, the Toyos, definitely had flat spots. So ever since I got these ones, these are an R compound tire, so they're definitely a lot stickier and softer tires. So I have been over inflating these the last season when I stored them. I also store them on plywood. Uh, concrete is very porous, so is plywood, but Growing up and having cars over the year, when I would store my slicks or I'd store my sticky tires or I'd store stuff, I used to store them on the concrete floor. And those tires would always get dry rotted and it just it was always a nightmare. So then I started putting them on cardboard, put them on plywood, and they ended up lasting longer. So when I park the car, I'll have it parked on four pieces of plywood. And I overinflate the tires. That's number one. Number two is wash and clean your car. If you put it away all grimy and dirty, it's going to stay that way. You might have some paint issues with it or some clear coat if you have bad clear or whatever. So try to get it clean. This is just dusty because it's been uncovered for a few days. If you have car covers, utilize them. Uh, if they're a dust cover for inside, obviously you want to use that. If it's an outdoor cover, try to do that. Also try to put tarp down underneath it to try to block some moisture. Uh, that's an old school trick that I learned. Don't know if it's good or bad. You make that decision depending on where you are. I disconnect my battery. Some people leave them on a tether. It's going to die and it's whatever. It is what it is. It's not going to be next to a plug to be plugged in on a tether all winter. So I'll probably actually just take the damn battery out of here and bring it back to my house, keep it on the charger here or something. Top off all your fluids, especially if you live in a cold area like I do. You want your antifreeze topped off or at least to a safe level to make sure that you're not blowing out freeze plugs. You're not cracking radiators or any hoses or anything that would get messed up. Give yourself a fresh oil change. You don't want any contaminants. That way when you fire it up in six months from now, uh, you'll have nice fresh oil. The next one is debatable. I always hear, especially the Corvettes because they had that transfer pump between like the tanks, I believe. Some people say to store them at a lower level, but then there's the old school mentality of is if you get condensation in your gas tank, gas actually floats on water and all that stuff. Not saying this is the right way, but I store the car with a full tank of gas. That's how I've done it. That's how I've stored all of my cars. 35 years old, and I've been putting cars away since I could start driving because I've always had some sort of cool sports or whatever car. So I've always stored with a full tank of gas. I've always had luck with it. It's up to you where you live and how you do it. As far as pests, I don't put snap traps in the car, but I do like to put them around the car or some sort of repellent. Inside the car, people like to run dryer sheets. I don't even know if that really works. I don't know, but you can if you want. You can't not if you don't want to. If you don't want to, then don't. It's up to you. But those are my tips and tricks right now. If there's something else I think of on the way when we're getting this over to the shop, I will. Uh, I'll let you know. But let's get her fired up. Let's get the 51 fired up. Let's get this car washed. I have the cover of the car, I'm just gonna grab the plywood, <clears throat> tighten up the nitrous line to make sure that's plugged up so nothing gets in there, and let's do it.
nothing like a cold start on a can LS. Thanks to my heart, that one. Like I said, if I remembered something, uh, don't use your e-brake because they freeze, especially if it gets cold out. Chalk your tires if you need it to, uh, so it doesn't roll, or obviously leave it in park if it's automatic. I'll leave my car in first gear. This one sounds like she's got a cam, but I think she's just cold. Oh yeah, listen to that tranny knocking. Choke on? Tell if that's like flat tapping cam noise or if it's transmission. I'm not sure if I have a flex flex plate that's cracked, maybe, or some loose bolts. I don't know. I can never really figure that noise out. It doesn't get any worse, doesn't get any louder. It's been doing it since I got it, but it runs good. So let's get this pig washed. Let's get it over to Kevin's shop. All right, she's all washed up, drip of wet. Let's get it dried off and let's get it over to the shop. I mean, it's warmed up now. I actually rolled my sleeves up, but can you tell that I have a lot of wax and product on this thing? All right, so I dropped the car off. Grace is picking me up. Ralph is here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time.